What's up, you guys? I'm in my little uh, makeshift studio working on some music. For those of you guys that don't know, I'm also a music producer, songwriter, guitarist, bass player, drummer, piano player, singer, rapper, hey, you name it, you name it. Uh, I guess I should take these off. I don't need these right now. Um, so I actually am in the process of producing. I got about five albums worth of music that uh, I'm gonna drop one by one. So I'll keep you guys posted on that. I think you're really gonna enjoy what I've been what I've been making. All right, but let's get into the topic for this video, which is closely related to this this music endeavor. Uh, anybody that's an artist and and has had a you know an ambition towards becoming uh, really great at anything, you know, whether it's sport, whether it's a craft, you know, music, art, whatever. Um, if you are an ambitious person and you've tried to achieve greatness at something, uh, I guarantee you, you've experienced what I'm about to talk about, all right? So there's this thing called imposter syndrome. Imposter syndrome. Artists know it the best, right? But also, it's something that everybody deals with, I think, on some level. And so I want to talk about uh, one of the solutions to imposter syndrome, because I consider, I consider that kind of almost like, it's almost like a form of mental illness. It's like, or another way to, to get more spiritually minded about it, it's like a form of demonic attack, right? It's like, I don't, to me, it's almost like, you know, if you have ever been someplace with a lot of mosquitoes and they're just buzzing, they're just driving you crazy, you know? This can be like that on a mental level, you know? It's like you, you know you have a talent, you know you have a passion, and you wanna do something, but there's these just voices that are like, you're a fraud, you're never gonna make it, you're not as good as this guy, right? And, and what that does is it makes us very insecure and it makes us very unlikely to share our gifts. And that's really unfortunate. And we need to overcome that. All of us have gifts. And those little voices, we need to figure out how to get them out or at least not listen to them or understand that they're lying to us, okay? So one of the reasons that imposter syndrome happens in the first place, you guys, has everything to do with this semen retention stuff, okay? It has to do with what you do in privacy, right? So there's this phrase, what happens in the dark comes to light. Shout out to Seb, my boy Seb Conscious. He just made a really great video talking pretty much about the same thing, um, about this lack of confidence that we get as a result of being, doing things in secret, right? Because we tend to, you know, the thing we do when we're online, um, well, the thing we used to do, hopefully, like the thing I used to do years ago, you know, hopefully that's in the past for you. If it's in the present, no worries, man. Um, you can overcome this. If I can do it, you can do it. You know, I was, I was like such an addict in so many ways, you guys, it's crazy. So it wasn't, it wasn't just the, the online content and, and this, and you know, it was also like substance use, you know, that I was ashamed of would do in private or even, or even just stuff like my room's a mess. You know, and I don't want, I wouldn't want anybody to come over and see how bad my room looks, you know. Maybe I haven't like cleaned the bathroom in a while, you know. And it's like, you know that feeling, you don't want to have a grow over because the, because the place is filthy kind of thing. So all of these little things kind of accumulate <clears throat> and they lower our confidence. And then when we're out there in the world, we find it harder to, to look people in the eye. Okay, so all of these little things like uh, keeping your room clean, like keeping yourself clean. Um, those are all a big deal. But I would say arguably a bigger deal is how clean is your mind? How clean is your heart, right? Do you have skeletons in your closet? Are you somebody that feels like you have something to hide? Do you have shame, right? These, these are things that really fuel that imposter syndrome for us, you guys. Because basically what's happening is you guys know the feeling uh, I remember I had a group of friends that used to talk about this. They'd call it uh, the post-ejaculation shame, PES, right? And you guys must know what I'm talking about, right? Especially when you've done some stuff online in, in private, man. And then, you know, the, the, th the feeling afterwards. 
that feeling starts to accumulate. And the thing is, is like, we think we're being sneaky or something. We think people can't, can't tell. But when you go out into the world and you've been doing a lot of that, how, how are you gonna feel fully confident? How are you gonna stand upright, look somebody in the eye, right? You're gonna look at the ground, you're gonna like, cause you have something to hide. And people can feel that. You know, and especially women, you know, because they're so energetically sensitive. They're so intuitive. You know, they notice all this little stuff that like, you know, your eyes are kind of darting around and this and that. And then they don't trust you and nor should they. Right. Because your mind is in the wrong spot. So in order to get our minds out of that spot, we have to break the habit. You know, you can't be filling your mind with that crap and you got to get off of this dopamine hamster wheel. You know what I'm saying? So the longer we go with, without doing that the more confident we get. It's a natural process. It's very natural. And you, you, part of the reason you feel like an imposter, you guys, in the world, is because you probably kind of are, right? Like I was, I was. I was somebody that, you know, I had secrets. I had secrets. I had so many secrets. I had so many skeletons in my closet. So many things that I, I had done or, or, or was doing that I wouldn't dare let somebody know, right? So in that sense, I was an imposter and that, and that feeling kind of haunts you. So when you start to become somebody that you're the same person when nobody's looking as when they are, that, that imposter syndrome starts to go away. You notice how like when you're out in public, I, I mean, I don't know, can't speak for y'all, but I, I've never seen somebody doing that in public. Never. I've never seen it. Thank God. <laughs> It, but you know what I mean? It tends to be something we, we kind of hide when we do it. And it's, it's the hiding. Of course, there's, the, there's all the physical and metaphysical aspects for men of losing that energy. Like you're just so much less efficient in the world when you're doing that. But anything you do that's like a secret, that's going to make you feel less confident in the world. You're going to feel like an imposter. You know, thing is... And there's another saying, you know, all these guys, all these cliches for you today, but you know, cliches are often cliches because they're true, right? So something my grandma used to tell me, bless, bless her soul in heaven right now. Grandma, I hope, I hope, I hope you're, you're seeing what I'm doing. Cause I know she'd be proud of me right now. Not, not old me, old me. She would have been like, tis tisk. new me. She'd be so proud. So shout out, shout out to you, grandma up in heaven. But she used to tell me this. You want to fly with the eagles, you can't be walking with the turkeys, right? So your company matters, man. You want to be an eagle, you can't be, you can't be like a turkey, man. What do eagles do? Eagles just fly high. There's another analogy. You know what happens when crows, when crows start to attack an eagle? You know what an eagle does? An eagle just flies higher and higher and higher. And at a certain point, the crows can't handle the altitude, but the eagle can. And then the crows leave, right? Eagles just, eagles rise above. So we gotta be like eagles out here, not like turkeys walking around, not like vultures, especially not like vultures, right? Not, not like cockroaches, you know, cockroaches are always hiding, They're filthy little creatures always hiding. We can't be like that, you guys. The, the less you have to hide, the better. That's the goal here. None of us are perfect, myself included, but we can always make progress towards being people that have less to hide, right? And then that sense of being an imposter starts to go away because you're not you're not an imposter what you see is what you get man what you see on the camera is the same thing that happens when the camera's off same same way i am in public same way i am in private didn't used to be like that it used to be a huge difference right every time i'm out in public i feel like i gotta put on a show no wonder i felt like an imposter right so this is a syndrome that is very very curable right you, you, you want to stop feeling like an imposter? Stop being one. Stop being one. You know, and the, with the little things, with all the little things, right? And then if, say, if you're a musician, you're an artist, you're a poet, you're a rapper, you're an athlete, uh, bartender, server, banker, I don't care. Whatever it is you're doing that you want to be great at, you're going to be that much greater at it because you're going to know you're the real deal because you got nothing to hide. See how that works, you guys? It's not easy. Nobody ever said this was easy, but nothing worth doing is easy, all right? This stuff's hard, but it's so worth doing.
Wouldn't you like to be able to go out into the world and know that you are not an imposter? That what people see is exactly how you really are? That people can trust you, right? And then watch what happens to your craft, whatever it is. You're gonna have so much more faith in yourself and your abilities and you're gonna stop doubting it. Those little void, those little, you know, like those mosquitoes. They don't like your environment anymore, man. They're gonna have to go somebody up, somewhere else. They're gonna have to go bother somebody else's mind because yours is, yours is cleared up, right? This is, this is all through obedience, all through, all through obeying the laws of the body, the mind, and the soul, the laws of God, natural law, right? It's not natural for us to be looking at screens and getting aroused and then using the same stuff that could create a new life, putting it in a sock or something. Like, come on, guys. Come on. No pun intended. All right? We got to do better. We got to do better. All right? So I hope this message was inspiring for anybody. I hope this helps. Uh, if you appreciate the content and what I'm bringing to the table, subscribe, like, comment, share, all of that. If you're, if you're on the journey too, if, you, if you're one of us, man, hop in here. Share your experience. Share your experience, strength, and hope, man. Let's contribute some uplifting content to this crazy ass situation, okay? Y'all know it's crazy, okay? All right. Peace and blessings, family. Signing out.